Let's take a look at a new Keyshot 7 feature called Studios. Studios are an evolution of scene sets and view sets. Only available to Keyshot Pro users, Studios allow you to combine cameras, environments, model sets, and multi-materials to cycle through the various combinations. Studios make design reviews and product configurations a breeze, allowing you to toggle the variables in real time. Now before creating a studio, you have to create any cameras, environments, model sets, and multi-materials you wish to use in the studio. I'll begin by walking you through how to create these items, then we'll tie them together using Studios. To create a camera, navigate to the Camera tab in the Project panel. The Add New Camera icon will create a new camera. If any changes are made, the camera will show the word Unsaved next to it. To commit your changes, click the floppy disk icon. This behavior is the same as in Keyshot 6. To create an environment, navigate to the Environment tab in the Project panel. Now new for Keyshot 7 is the Environment list. This is where you can gather a selection of the environments you'll want to use in your Keyshot scene. To add an environment to the list, drag from the Keyshot library into the Environment list. Alternatively, you can click the Duplicate Environment button to create a copy of the currently active environment. Keyshot Pro users will have access to a button called Create Blank Environment Map to start with a blank canvas, which can then be edited using the HDRI editor. Changes made to an environment are automatically saved. To create a model set, navigate to the Scene tab in the Project panel. Model sets behave the same way as scene sets in Keyshot 6. Model sets can be used to save changes to display states such as hidden or visible parts, as well as model patterns and locations of parts or models. Material changes are retained in model sets as well. Now right-click in the model set list to create a new model set. A new dialog gives you the option to make a model set always visible. This might be used for an element you wish to always be seen, such as a ground plane. Additionally, you can choose to clone any other models present into the new model set. Any changes made in an active model set will automatically be saved. To create a multi-material, I'll double-click the object I wish to make a multi-material for. We're then taken to the Material Properties tab. To the right of the Material Graph button is a multi-material button. We'll click that to turn this material into a multi-material. At this point, you should notice a pattern. Similar to our cameras and environments, we have a list. The buttons to the left of the list are familiar too. You can click the New Material button to create a new material and add it to the list. The button below that can be used to make a copy of the currently active material, so you can easily tweak one or two of the values as needed. The last button can be used to duplicate your material if it has textures and you wish to link the values between these textures as well. Now that we've created at least one camera, environment, model set, and multi-material, we are ready to combine these into a studio. The Add Studio button can be found in the ribbon, or if you prefer, the hotkey for studios is U. Start by clicking the Add Studio button and name it as desired. To define a camera, environment, model set, or multi-material, click the checkbox to enable the item and then use the drop-down menu to make a selection. Your options will be limited to the cameras, environments, model sets, and multi-materials that we've already created. After making a selection, the studio will automatically save remembering your selections. So repeat this process to create as many studios as needed. Now those of you with a keen eye might have noticed I skipped over one button in both the Camera tab and the Environment tab. If you prefer the way view sets worked in Keyshot 6, then this button is for you. It's called the Add Camera and Environment Studio button. In one click, a new studio will be created with a camera and environment based on the current camera and environment settings, mimicking the view set workflow in Keyshot 6. Studios in Keyshot 7 allow you to work quickly and efficiently 
generating multiple variations of a product or a scene while eliminating rework. When you're ready to render in the Render Output dialog, navigate to the Render queue and click the Add Studios button. From there, you can either add a few of or all of your studios to the Render queue with a single click. I hope you enjoyed this overview of Keyshot 7 Studios. Thank you for watching. To subscribe and get updates whenever we post new content, click the icon in the center of the screen. To view more quick tips and webinars, click the thumbnails below.